Since Overwatch 2 is now released and free to play, many have asked me if it's worth trying. Even I question if it's even worth it since I'm very much into Apex at the moment. Add that to the terrible launch that Overwatch had and it can leave many not wanting to even try the game. Well honestly, I can tell you that personally for me, Overwatch has been some of the most fun I've had in a very long time. Let's go over a few things you should know first. The first Overwatch released in May of 2016, just six years after I graduated. And yes I know, I'm old. This time around they opted to make the game free to play. That's right, this game is completely free to play which is a huge W. They've also decided to add a battle pass this time around. The battle pass consists of 80 different tiers with the last tier being a completely customizable Genji skin. And honestly I think the skin looks pretty sick and is definitely worthy for the last tier. Overwatch 2 does also have cross progression available. You can ensure that none of your previous progress will be lost. And as I said earlier, this is the second iteration of the game, so I'm pretty sure most of you don't even know what Overwatch is or how it's played. So from new player to new player, I'll explain briefly what Overwatch is. And for you vets out there, if I miss anything, feel free to let me know in the comments. Overwatch is an objective based shooter that uses heroes as characters. Each hero is categorized into one of three roles, DPS, healer, or tank. Tanks are the hero that are meant to survive and to take damage so that their healers and DPSers don't have to. Healers are designed to do as the name implies and that's to keep their team alive by simply healing them. And a DPSer's job is to eliminate players that are troublesome to the team or in the way of the objective. Because of this, the game is heavily reliant on teamwork. If your DPSer can't secure crucial kills, if your healers can't support your team and replenish their health effectively or your tanks just die too much or too soon all can lead to disaster overwatch is a game where all things need to be happening at once for the most part in order to be successful this leads to longer more drawn out gunfights sometimes especially when healers and tanks are involved this makes strategy incredibly valuable no matter how cracked the enemy dpser is if they face a coordinated team they will soon find out that they can't do it alone the most successful teams are the ones that can work together even if they may be individually less skilled than some of the players players on the enemy team, this does not mean that they cannot come out on top. This also makes it much easier to identify errors that are being made so that corrections can happen and improve overall team performance. It's very easy to identify if the tank simply isn't doing their job and surviving long enough, or if your healers simply aren't putting out enough heals, or if the DPSer is missing that crucial elimination that they needed in order to win the round. Another thing I enjoy about Overwatch is that BRs have made it so where that there's usually that one friend that gets left out. And I'm sure you know who you are. Well, with Overwatch, since it's 5v5, you'll find yourself more capable of playing with your whole friend group. You heard that right, Apex players. If you're the fourth man, you no longer have to worry about having to sit out in solo queue because your teammates chose to play with each other instead of you. Admittedly, though, this does make the queue time a bit longer if you're role queuing, but I'm sure this is something that will be addressed in later updates. Lastly, outside of the launch complications, it seems like most things are running smoothly. I haven't noticed a single launch issue or seen a ridiculously long queue like 20,000 players like it was on launch day. In conclusion, if you are a BR type of player or you're just someone looking for something new, I would highly suggest giving Overwatch a shot. I've been finding myself gaming longer periods of time than I even do for Apex. I genuinely think this game has a very bright future ahead of it and I hope more players can see that too. Finally, this could be the last Overwatch video I'll post on this channel, depending on your guys' feedback. Because of that, I've created a separate channel just for Overwatch, which you'll find on screen right here, and you can also find it in the description below. I would appreciate if you guys could subscribe to me over there, that way we can start growing our Overwatch community. I've got a Discord that I'll also have in the description as well, where you can find either Apex or Overwatch players in there. Hope you guys enjoy this journey as much as I do, and I'll see you guys in the next video.